what is power bi so power bi basically it's a business intelligence tool okay so it is one of the bi tool in the market and uh, what exactly is bi tool bi tool is a software application or a platform basically that helps organizations gather and analyze the data so basically it helps to take a decision when you have too much of data in in your company or you know wherever it is so there's a large uh, set of data and you wanted to make up with uh, some decisions or understand the data well you need a bi tool okay so wherever is there is data there is a bi tool there's a need of bi tool so right now in this current industry uh, the data was growing in at a faster rate since past 3 years so everywhere there is a need of a bi tool whether it is a tableau clickview power bi that is different but again there is a need of a bi tool okay so again power bi is also a data visualization tool basically using power bi we can create wonderful visualization uh, you know and also reports and dashboards which will help us to you know understand the data in a quick format okay so and then it is not only a visualization tool it can also clean up the data which is data cleaning and etl so basically uh, you can easily clean and filter out irrelevant or erroneous data using a variety of transformation functions so we we use a power query editor which is one of the uh, you know gui of the power bi desktop so using that we will be able to clean the data you know we need to be able to do lot of other uh, transformations in fact we can create the data in there okay so it is acting like an etl okay so and not only that we can create a data model which will uh, help, help us to come up with a faster you know calculations in uh, our power bi desktop so it is one of the data modeling tool so basically power bi has lot of things packed into one single tool and that is the reason you know uh, today we are learning power bi okay so now let's go to the next point like why you should learn power bi so like you said uh, uh, it is a bi tool there are so many tools in the market like tableau clickview but why you should learn specifically power bi right by why what do you want to learn power bi so there are nine points i've listed however there might be many so i've listed out nine points so let's go point by point to understand what is it okay point number 1 it is one of the hottest bi tool in the market okay so when i say hottest bi tool in the market since past 3 years if you go and look into the you know stats on the internet so power bi has looked you know very much for a bi solution okay so that's the reason it's one of the hottest bi tool in the market not only that we have lot of job opportunities out there in the job market like basically uh, what do you say earlier there were only power bi uh, related jobs but nowadays uh, the market has become uh, such a way that there are too many power bi folks out there and uh, because of there are too many power bi folks and the client and you know the the business also kind of looking for a dual uh, you know dual skills Uh, not only power bi they are looking out for something else like sql azure or you know lot of other things as well however there are some uh, companies which are still only looking for power bi but uh, in general it is a mix of both okay and uh, it's easier for career transition and advancement okay so basically if you look at any other tool it has little uh, learning curve or you know uh, basically it takes up some time or some lot of effort but whereas power bi it's a bit easier when compared to all other tools for you to, you know career transition as well as if you wanted to progress in your same job some people who are working on a different tool uh, they wanted to jump into power bi and just you know advance in their career so that is also possible okay even the actually freshers also people if you you know some people who are just freshers and they don't know where to start they can start power bi okay there are a lot of students who have uh, done that and i've seen them getting jobs in real okay and also it is easy when compared to other bi tools like you know uh, looker tableau clickview looker so when you compare power bi with any other tools like it is it has a you know faster learning curve because the main reason being it is one of the microsoft product right you've been uh, sitting with microsoft tools day in day out right you are on win like you know windows which is a microsoft tool you are into excel powerpoint you know whatever word so outlook so everything is microsoft product so the ui of power bi is more closely towards this microsoft product so you will not feel that you are working with something new tool or something like that 
hence you would uh, you know easily get comfortable with the tool so when you get comfortable with the tool automatically keep learning right you have a faster learning curve in there okay so point number 5 Uh, it's cheaper in price when compared to other bi tools and companies would love to invest on this tool obviously right so power bi pro license costs just 9.99 dollars per month right so you can also check that out uh, in the uh, licensing part we'll discuss more in detail about different licensing but yeah pro license starts from 9.99 dollars which is 10 dollars a month when you compare with any other bi tool definitely it's very cheaper in the market okay and definitely if i am the business owner i would want to invest in such a wonderful tool and it's cheaper right why not yeah as i mentioned it is part of the microsoft family right with like just like excel powerpoint word point 6 and point number 7 there are a lot of connectivity options right it can connect to wide range of data sources and coming up to you know basically uh, to connect to big data sql sharepoint uh, raw files you name it adobe like you know salesforce whatever you name it it is getting the new connector even if there is a uh, new tool in the market and let's say it's some of the hot tool in the market and they are kind of uh, looking for uh, a connector for itself maybe power bi would sooner come with it because every month power bi releases an update okay and it also keeps up adding these new connectors that means uh, it is keep you know it is basically hearing out this customers and trying to put a solution so that they can connect to to their application using power bi so that is what is the connector you will know that as and when we progress so it keeps on adding okay and also the same thing i mentioned power bi releases new updates on a monthly basis while other bi tools take a minimum of 3 to 6 months okay means every month you are going to get lots of new features along with any bug fixes that is required which is which is awesome right yeah yeah all right point number 7 uh, sorry point number 9 as per gartner magic quadrant uh, power bi is again leaders in analytics so i'm not sure how many of you know about gartner magic quadrant so gartner magic quadrant is basically it's one of the uh, series of market research reports published by it consulting firm called gartner basically uh, they do this proper qualitative data analysis and they come up with some you know trends of what, where the market is going and currently like you know what kind of industries are using bi tools and which bi tool is you know kind of you know uh, hot in the market so you can also go to this link uh, basically i'll share this link later on so that you'll get a complete report right let me uh, just open this up so you so basically you can see the complete report people who are interested can just right you can see this basically this report shows uh, as you can see this is a graph that is basically showing you all the you know these uh, bi tools in the market out there like and you can see microsoft is standing top when compared to others so salesforce tableau clickview sap so there are a lot of other tools but microsoft is in the uh, top and you can see this is a proper report and it also gives you the clear differentiations of clickview uh, tableau power bi you know people are interested can go and you know have a complete research like installing power bi desktop so everyone should start their journey from the very first step on installing power bi okay so there are some people who might be coming from a different uh, background uh, like let me say some people have uh, windows machines most of the people have windows machines some people have uh, mac right uh, so macbooks so basically i have just listed out what are the options and you know uh, what are the different methods that we have so let me quickly navigate you through them so all the windows users first uh, you can always i always suggest people to go to microsoft store okay everybody who is on windows knows about microsoft store right so go to the microsoft store and then search uh, you know for power bi desktop so there you can just search it like just like in any other application that you install search for power bi desktop and you will be able to easily install it okay so the benefits that you get is that you know automatically it updates every month so you know not sit and update or after few months uh, your uh, tool will not be like you know out, outdated so when you do this from microsoft store automatically every month things will take care okay so that's the best option 
So some people who don't have access to Microsoft Store or they face some issues, you can always download an executable file directly from the, you know, the standard link I'll just share you. The standard link. You can also do a Google search, which will uh, kind of navigate. Let me just take you there. So this is a standard link that you can see uh, where uh, you can get it on a Google search also. So basically Microsoft Power BI Desktop, this is the very first download that you need to do. And basically there are two options. Okay, the first option, which will automatically navigate to the Microsoft Store again. Uh, the second option is what I was talking about. This is a .exe file. People are interested to download an you know, .exe file and then install on themselves. Yeah, they can do it. And you can see there are two versions. One is 32-bit and the other one is 64-bit. So depending upon your Windows machine, uh, mostly all the machines nowadays are 64 bit, right? So you can install this version and it will be just like a, it's just a self uh, uh, explanatory. It's just, you know, you need to just follow along, double click on the, and just you'll be able to quickly install it. Okay. So I'll be sharing, you know, some other installation uh, link for you if you require, but it's just a very easy step so that we're not going in deep. Okay. So having said that, uh, people, most people would uh, kind of, you know, uh, look for a solution, people especially who are on MacBooks, right? Directly uh, speaking, like, you know, there is no direct installation options. Okay. So, sorry to say that MacBook users don't have an option to install Power BI on their machines. However, there are some alternatives with which you can get the Power BI running on your machine, but that is not a direct installation. So, please keep in mind. Okay. So let me just go to this. Okay. So what you can do is like, first thing is that there's a paid options. So there is a paid uh, websites where parallels.com will install something kind of a parallel, you know, basically what it does is it installs a parallel desktop where you can install your Power BI in the parallel desktop. Okay. And also similarly, we have a turbo.net again, uh, it is also a paid plan. People can directly install, you know, uh, there. So you can kind of explore it. I see uh, they're offering for free for five users, up to five users. So you can just check it out. Then, but this this comes into paid category because, because based upon your usage, it will again kind of charge. This is another free version we have. So this is a Amazon Web Services. Basically, you can create a virtual machine on Amazon Web Services and uh, However, it will not, uh, you know, charge anything, but just to uh, have a confirmation from your end, it might ask you to enter your credit card info, but it will not charge any money over there. Okay. So it's like we are installing a virtual machine and then installing a Power BI desktop on top of that. Okay. So then we have something called a remote machine. Again, this is also uh, a kind of having a remote machine running somewhere and taking that remote access from your uh, MacBook. So it's no brainer, right? So it's not like actually a solution, but it is one of the way people use it. Okay. And then you can install Windows on Mac using bootcamp software. There's a bootcamp software where you can install um, uh, this uh, Windows itself on your MacBook. That means when you log into MacBook, you have two options. Either you can enter into your iOS or you can enter into Windows. So, so while you are working on iOS, you cannot access Windows. While you are working on Windows, you cannot access. That means when you are working with Windows, you'll be able to access Power BI, but it's not much of a solution though for many people. But this is one of the way people kind of use it. Okay. 